looks like a tiny so little girl. We just spent oh. talking about anime, but <laughs> <we're incredible>. <laughs> <laughs> to break the spookiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, you look up, there is little girl, there are spiders, some some about as big as you saw originally, about the size of your fist, some bigger, more vagueness. Mm. Um, the thing is, I, I mean, she looks little girl, um, except you notice along like right here, the light's catching. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Miss Hazel, we, uh, we came to, to, to talk to you. We um, to be frank, I'll just be honest with you. We may need your help. <laughs> um, she uh, she just kind of lightly hops, boom, boom, boom. Again, if you didn't know, if you didn't already know that she was jumping on webs, it looked like she was just hopping on invisible platforms, old school video game style. Mm. Until she's ground level, and she says, "And why would you need my help? You know the best, Shalu." <laughs> Um, her eyes, multiple eyes, kind of narrow at that, and she says, yeah, I'm aware of them. Well, we are coming to you because we're greatly out of our element, and we're sorry to be bothering you and invading your space, but, you know, we're trying to protect our species in this town, and if it takes us coming to you and Annoying you for a, get a bit, I'll offer my apologies later and humbly ask if there's anything you can do to help us. There appear to be two of them working with um, some sort of, what was the name of the wolf? Trickster, a sca scavenger, a scavenger wolf, wolf. To try to break down the barriers between the spirit realm in this one and we're uh given to understand that you uh have an interest in keeping those fairly solid or building those back up so she says she says this this involves those wolves doesn't it it, it does in fact yes ma'am it does <laughs> she starts just kind of Strumming her fingers. I see the cat. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing, Joe? She starts strumming her fingers and she says, I really, really am getting tired of getting tied into their nonsense. What do you mean yeah. by nonsense? <clears throat> she says, We we had a we had a deal years ago. I was allowed to take one kid every three years. And they'd let me do my thing. Normally they don't like me here, but I keep some of the worst things at bay. But now they're trying to tie me into all of this and drag me into their into their little family feud. I'm sorry, you say you take a child once every three years? That's not important. <laughs> Jeb is appalled. <laughs> she smiles and she goes, "Yes, these skins don't last very long." Oh my I, god! I, I mean, she said, she says, "Is everybody every using three? other people's skins in this place?" Is that she says? Yeah, once every, she goes once every three years. A kid disappears. No, you you murder them. I'm so, I'm so Je Je Jeb realizes he's getting flustered and he just kind of kind of takes a step back and turns his back to her. He's getting, he's getting pissed Peter, off. Peter, yeah, Peter, Fra Frank puts his hand on your shoulder. <laughs> Peter kind of steps up where Jeb was and says, Madam, your deal with the uh, the, the where, where gentleman and lady notwithstanding, you don't have to look at it as you're dealing with them. They're not here. I believe you could look at it as you're dealing with us. We're as interested in protecting this town as you are in protecting your territory. And respectfully, Miss Hazel, at least as we understood, if your function is to maintain the barriers between our world and the uh, the umbral world, that it sounds like regardless of your interactions with these werewolves, that just because of what Scavenger Wolf does, you're having to deal with him already. Is that correct? She, she goes, 
that's the that's the interesting thing. He's somebody I'm not familiar with. Hmm. I don't know what their what their whole feud is. He's not one of them. He's something completely different. I mean, I don't. They, they hmm? told us that he essentially does the opposite of what you do. That he he creates thin passages between the two realms. He works against what she's <laughs> trying to do. She says, "No, that's what the rats do. They chew through the they chew through the barrier." Scavenger Wolf. I don't know what what his plan, what his, why he's even tied into all of this. Well, he's he somehow did, working he, with the Beshalu. We we're not entirely clear on what kind of relationship they have, but they're somehow connected in this situation. Um, and what his actual role is 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 not. Uh, clear, but she 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 holds up her she holds up a finger, motioning you to stop. She says, "He's working. He's working with the rats." Evidently, yes. Which which uh, from what we understand is not very normal. Peter unzips a pocket and produces a little baggie with some of the powder. That's the drug, and he goes, "They're producing this product." <laughs> she uh, she walks forward, kind of looks at it. Kind of like starts dipping her head down, making sure all of the eyes see it. There's more eyes than what a spider has. And some of those eyes look uncomfortably human now that you're a little bit close to her. God. Peter <laughs> but, you know, there's no, there's no lids, so they're not blinking. Hmm. She's looking at it and she says, this is tainted. Mm-hmm. She uh, she looks. Uh, she asks to no one in particular uh, among your group. She says, "Do you have? Do you know what you're up against?" Not like really. These, no. <laughs> not really. It's why we're coming to you. <laughs> She's. Uh, she says a lot of this is starting to make a little bit more sense. I've I've been I've been catching a lot of rat spirits on this side. Um, the reason they start chewing holes is they're wanting to converge. It's it's there in uh, every single every single one of the rats' intention is to chew a hole through the barrier to allow their king to come through. So he can do what? <laughs> He's known as the Plague King. What do you think he does? <laughs> it's a pretty self-describing title, isn't it? <laughs> So Jeb regaining his composure goes. So is this Beshalu kind of like a herald for this king? Is he the one that creates this, the the encourages the rats to chew? I mean, what what is the Beshalu's place with with the, with the plague king? <laughs> she, she she says, well, the thing about us hosts is that we're all we're 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 all our own entity, and we're all a part of something bigger. Hmm. The, this this Beshalu is both its own its own thing and it's also a part of the uh, uh it's also a part of the plague king it's wanting to chew a hole until more of it can come through and converge so can you spin some uh some of your webs for good <laughs> and uh help patch that hole up <laughs> she says well i can close things on my end of the of the sh of the gauntlet but He's pretty much stuck on that end until there's a bigger hole. Can you provide us any? Uh, what was provide, that, Peter? Can you provide us any help in dealing with our current adversaries? I believe that would be a more prudent path. She starts thinking, starts you know, looking at each and every one of you, um, sizing you up, rather to um, you know. Wondering what your capabilities are, or wondering what you taste like, you you can't quite tell. She says, "I I can probably lend aid. I've already been I, I was already um, roped into this um, initially. That's why the wolves came here at first. They thought I was somehow implicated. That's why the hand was here. Mm. Mm. Apparently, somebody was trying to frame me." Mm. So the hand was placed. That did always seem very strange. And you think it was one of the wolves? 
Well, that's why I was initially hostile to them. If, um, but if they, because I smelled, I smelled wolf spirit. But if <laughs> scavenger wolf is over here, messing with things, that would suddenly make uh, make a lot of sense. It hmm. believes it believes our adversaries are trying to play both groups against each other, not knowing our group is involved. <laughs> oh yeah, and that would explain well, maybe not knowing until uh, <clears throat> Jeb's incident. Well, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, Jeb goes quiet. <laughs> Shit happens, honey. She, she, she looks over at you and uh, starts walking towards you, Jeb, uh, getting uncomfortably close. And she asks you, just very frankly, just what did you do? I, um, Jeb is Jeb is all of a sudden like starting to lose his composure a bit and goes, I, uh, <laughs> I got barrel. Uh, Andrew, because I try to make a deal with with the Beshalu to try to get his drug trade, That's trying to be a no. trying to be a secret agent, man. No. <laughs> well, honestly, but, I did not intend for you to Mr. actually Shaw. confess your guilt. So go ahead and cash that. <laughs> that also was not com- that. I, I <sighs> that. At the moment I did, I was like, "Oh shit, I'm giving. I'm basically giving him this freebie." <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> she said, and she says so. The rats know that you know they exist at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, our cover has been blown. Yep. Well, that's going to make things more difficult. How so? <laughs> well, he has a nest, but at this point, he's probably going to be protecting his nest somehow. Yeah, a couple of us actually went is, to the nest and or what we think might be the nest to uh, get eyes on it, to discover it. No, it was definitely the nest. I can confirm that one. <laughs> did, did he come to you, Jeb, trying to get defenses against uh, the people who had come in? Isn't that exactly. Kind of- uh, that's kind of where it uh, started to go south. Um, he was asking for guns and traps and he knows we've been there. He smelt us, I think. <laughs> she laughs and she says, well, guns won't do anything against me, I'm afraid. So, you have that on your side. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> Jeb looks at his gun and just... <laughs> good information. <laughs> then, uh, not not to put too fine a point on it, but you mentioned you could perhaps help us, but it would be a little more challenging at this point. Well... I can trap him on the physical side of the of the show, of the gauntlet, but that will leave everything on, that will leave everything to you guys. Um, and it's pretty much going to be a, he's going to be up against a wall, hmm. which means he's going to fight, and he's going to fight hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never back a dog into a corner, <laughs> as we say. I mean, even not backed into a corner, he very nearly killed me. So. <laughs> well, says, this, I... this time there probably will be more of us, plus some werewolves. And we know we'll have a better idea what to do. I mean, uh, that, that just, do we? Stores. Do we really know what to do with this guy? Because like last time, we just we we shot him, and then he turned into rats and disappeared. What do we do with rats that that are? Well, I've I've done a little studying, Barrel, but we'll go into okay. that later once we're out of this <laughs> conversation. Since apparently we just had a sidebar. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, I'm just saying. Yeah, you're right. So, so then we need to create a plan to uh, to, to corner him. Um, when when can you do this? I mean, how does this work? Do you just tell us where you're going to pin him, or I mean, <laughs> she, she she says when when you and the wolves uh, come with a plan, you can come to me. Okay. You have my word that you will not be harmed while you're here. I will not. I will not touch you. You will be completely free of attack from me. But do you have any minions who might work on your behalf who will leave us alone, or or not? Um. Roll um wits and wits and com- damn it, which one? Some of these things just don't necessarily work sometimes. Um, roll wits and stealth. I feel like this might be the scene from you know, Harry Potter where, you know, 
the, the giant spider's like, go, Hagrid's friends. I will not harm you. And then all his babies come out and just try to kill yeah. Ron Harry. <laughs> okay, so I got one nine and an eight. So I have two successes. Yeah, um, it's pretty much as you said. Um, <laughs> you look around and you notice that um, all the little tiny spiders have gotten very close to you. And uh, she smiles, she says, she says, okay, okay. You will not receive any harm while you're in here from me or anyone under my control. Thank uh, you. We can deal with that. We thank mm -hmm. you for your patience and your acceptance of help. Yes, th thank you, Miss Hazel. Oh, and one more thing. How the hell do we get out of here? <laughs> she laughs and she says, well, that's, that's kind of on you. Uh, okay. So, and she, and she, tur back she turns away came. and just walks down a deep dark oh. spider web entangled uh, hallway <laughs> let's let's oh god let's get the fuck out of here before i freak out guys <laughs> well, let's just go back the way we came a prudent option <laughs> all right um the good news is that um it's pretty much the same path um the hallways don't seem to be the same distance though if that may, uh, like, are they shorter oh, or longer than they were before? It depends on the hallway that okay. you were going down. It was uh, it was pretty much a one shot. It would zigzag and such. I mean, it was there were no divergences except for the one. Huh. Y'all ever seen that but, movie with that flamboyant fella, David Bowie? I feel like that. I feel like you talking about Labyrinth? <laughs> of yeah, that was He's it. Not seen Labyrinth. That was it. I feel like I'm in that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, just don't look the yeah. same anymore. I haven't seen Labyrinth, but my uh, former boyfriend did buy me a book called House of Leaves that this reminds me a lot of. Um, Labyrinth is great. You should. Well, I have it on DVD. Let me know. I'll, it's I'll a, it's, it's it a fun time. David Bowie looks great. His crotch is amazing. You David have to Bowie see it. All look great there. <laughs> Fair. You're, you're Jeb, Jeb is noticeably uncomfortable. <laughs> Frank, 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 goes, Frank goes, isn't that that Muppet movie? Yes, the one with like it's, the one with like yeah, the bird it's people. Yes, yeah. yes, it's amazing. <laughs> it's Sesame Street Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you guys, um, yeah, um, it's a one shot except for the, you know that one divergent area. But yeah, some of the hallways that were that were you know kind of short, they're now they seem miles long. You you kind of lose track of time. But eventually, yeah, you, you do find the window that you crawled through and you go back through and yeah, it's you're back in the school. Class is in session. <laughs> <laughs> We've been gone for days. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mrs. Knickerbottom, she oh my goodness. We're just covered in spider webs. <laughs> <laughs> Popping out of the ceiling bit. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are pretty much reconvened back outside um it feels like you might have been been in there for about 45 minutes but um yeah pretty much the same uh, same 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 as outside as it is inside it's about you know cl uh, you know three o'clock cl uh, uh, creeping into 3 30 mm. well i guess let's uh get out here and call call our uh wolf pack yep. and uh, let them know we got we got the help uh uh frankie uh he looks over at uh, peter and he goes uh so what uh what else did you what else did you learn in your studies pete ah well um while jeb and beryl had their misadventure uh, uh jacob and i were at the museum trying to study as best we could and and I'm gonna ask you this storyteller: Is this where like do I need to roll for like my academics or something? Because as a matter of ba fact, yes. basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use some some things here just to come up with something we learned through studying about a Beshalu. Okay, absolutely. Um, roll intelligence, and you can do academics. It's going to be at a negative two because this is really off the beaten path or you can do occult with no negative modifiers i will take the occult then and you can if you want you can expend willpower you can even risk willpower because this was absolutely in relation to the hunt i mean yeah i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my willpower on this one okay good call 
So let me knock that down. How many more dice does that give me? Uh, it gives you three. If you want to risk it, that means you get the nine again rule. And three uh, three successes count as an exceptional, in which case I would give you additional information. Uh, with I'm just going to roll the normal, but I will use willpower. Okay. Let's see. Uh, three successes, but I got two tens there. Hang on one second. Okay. Let me get these other dice out of here. Uh, five successes. Shit, oh. you're all An exceptional fired success tonight. anyway. Damn. Shit. Damn. So, this, the information you, you, you acquired was fairly esoteric. Um, it, it, it required not only, you know, you call, having to call in a few favors of people with some really odd collections of literature and diving into some really off the beaten path of, you know, websites and stuff. But you didn't necessarily find anything that, you know, directly tied to Beshalu specifically. But when she mentioned the word hosts, that caught your attention. And some of the things you know about hosts is it's essentially when a spirit, not a ghost, but a spirit finds its way into like possessing a human being, but it slowly corrupts that human being, which you guys have seen. Um, the thing is, though, when a host is destroyed, it ruptures into all the tiny little animal parts, like the big mass of rats that you saw. One of those animals, one of those rats is the original, is the original host. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Kill the rat, you kill the host. Oh, but there's so many of them. And so I, I proceed in that parking lot while taking the sword off and putting my jeep to explain what Chase just said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and that's the thing is that um, but you know, at that point, you know, do you want to try and kill all the rats individually, or is there a way to take out all the rats at once? And do they explosives? Um, are they like? Mortal? Or could we use rat poison, or or something? Are they intelligent? Are they like how? And do here's they... where the extra bit of information comes in handy, since you rolled an exceptional success. Glue traps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are the worst. They're cruel, but in this case, it's I can like, get behind it. Yeah, you don't poison them, but it's actually somehow even worse. <laughs> no. Um, they chew no, their um, tiny feet off. Yeah, it's very cruel and inhumane. Oh. I'm not. I'm not down with it. Um, in this case. <laughs> So, as long as the host is within a human body, they're tough. They're very tough. But once it's down to its core component, i.e. the individual rat, you could theoretically kill it as you would any other kind of rat. It's a bigger, tougher rat. Like, you know, it's going to be like, you know, rat's this big. This thing's going to be like this big. It's a big fucking rat. But it is you. You could theoretically kill it with like a, a tack hammer if you wanted to. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's made of like hundreds of spiders. What, what, what's it sounds like since she can trap him? I wonder how she's traveling on this side. It sounds like we need to trap him as like a, a body in some sort of containment unit, and then like uh, you know, I was kind of joking about the explosives, but literally just blow it to smithereens or incinerate it, or you know. Put it at the bottom of, of of Lake Stonewall, you know, so they all drown or something. I don't know. I mean, just destroy the whole unit. That's uh, kind of what I'm thinking. Well, we it's not in Geek anymore, so we still we don't know what body the special is going to be in, right? That's part of the problem is that we, we have to figure out what guys it now has. We should also pool our resources with our Werebuster friends and see what their resources might be. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. So we give him a call? Yes. Okay. okay. And we will continue that at a later time. Very good. Yeah.